Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, hear the music, my husband in his room. Um, but I did just film the look on my face right now. Very, I don't know, smoky, sexy look. And it's green. You guys know I've been loving green lately. The star of this look is the shade in this palette. What is this called? ME302 Greenish Brown. You can see right there. See how it hits some brown a little bit and it's green? Oh, gorgeous. I am wearing lashes today, so it was a very big deal for me because normally putting lashes on takes forever for me because I am not as good as everyone else is at putting lashes on. However, I did it and it worked, so I'm very happy about that. But if you are wanting to see how to get this look, please keep watching, please like and subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So. My hair is not done. It looks a hot mess. This is what it looks like naturally. I have very, very curly hair, very thick curly hair naturally. So I'm going to pull it out of my face because I don't want it anywhere near my face while I'm doing makeup. And then we're going to go into putting tape on our eyes to achieve that perfect cat eye look. Next, we're going to go in with the NYX eyeshadow base in the shade Skin Tone. And I'm applying that all over the lid as well as right underneath the brow bone to give my shadows a perfect base. And the star of today's look is the shade ME302 from the uh, Makeup Forever Artist Palette. I absolutely love this shade. And then I'm also going to go into the Stardust Palette and use the black in that palette in the shade Sin City. It is the best matte black ever. But first, we're going to go into Millennial from that Stardust Palette. And I'm going to blend that right into the outside corner and also into the crease and use that as my transition shade. Next, I'm going to go right back into that Stardust palette and pick up the shade Girls Night. And I love this color. It's a very deep orangey terracotta brownish shade. It's very pretty. I'm going to concentrate that right into the outside corner, but I'm also going to take what's little that's left on the brush. Because I'm using very, very little of this product at first. And just blend that right into the rest of the crease. Now I'm going to go into Sin City, which is the matte black. And I'm going to really carefully with very little product at first, go in with a very flat shadow brush, and I'm tapping off a lot of it, as you can see right here. I'm gonna go right into the inside corner of my eye first, and really take my time with applying this, because I really don't wanna make a mess by going in with full black all at once. I really wanna take my time and make sure that it's a very clean application. I accidentally erased a clip that was prior to this where I was building up the black. I did not go right in with the black. It's so much easier to build up a color like black than it is to take it away if you make a mistake and put too much. So please remember that. Just build up the color before you just go straight in with the actual black. It creates such a mess and it's so hard to get back from. So with what's a little left on that brush, I'm going to go ahead and start to blend just a little bit of the black right into the rest of the crease just to create a little bridge from the inside corner to the outside corner and you're going to see the finished look as of right now with just the black and the other colors we put on now with a flat shadow brush i'm using my naked two palette brush the flat end of that one i'm going to go ahead and take that green shade from the artist palette and i'm going to pat that right into that middle area where there's no shadows you really want to concentrate that green right in the middle just to make it the absolute star of this look because I absolutely love this green and I feel like it is just, <sighs> it is such a beautiful color. Here I'm just reapplying the black because with all the blending we did we might have lost the pigmentation of the black and that's something we do not want to lose with a smoky eye as dark as this one is. I'm also going to go ahead and reapply the green right into the middle of the eye just to make sure that's as green as humanly possible. And all the while I'm doing all this I'm also blending with very very little product just some of the black into the crease just to make sure it looks like an actual cut crease. But in the end you'll see it really just looks like a smoky eye. You don't really see the cut crease marks that I, you would see normally with a cut crease look. So next we're going to go ahead and take the tape off because I was done with it at this point. It irritates your eyes sometimes if you put it too close, but it's honestly the best trick to get the perfect cat eye every single time. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just tell you now this is a limited edition product from Wet n Wild and I should not have used it. So if you do not have this palette, which is the Don't Be a Poser palette, go ahead and just use the same green we used from the Makeup Forever palette. Honestly, it's the exact same color. I'm going to go ahead and just reapply that to the middle of the eye just to make sure that green looks as green as possible. But then I'm also going to go ahead and take that to the bottom lash line to start to smoke out the bottom lash line. Then I'm going to go into the Comfort Zone palette, which is not limited edition, happily to say. I'm going to take the tealish brown color and I'm going to take that all the way across the bottom of the lash line to really give this eye look a very different, unique look to it. Because now you have a little bit of teal, you have the green, you have the emerald greens, it just looks fabulous. Now I'm going to go into the shade D552 from the Makeup Forever Artist palette. I'm going to put that on the inside corner of the bottom lash line and blend that into the greens. not going to do a wing with this look because you really wouldn't be able to see it. It's already as like sharp as you could possibly get it, so you really don't need a wing for this look. If you want one, go ahead and do one, but I was just going to go ahead and do just a straight line across the lid, very, very close to the lash line. Now I'm going to go ahead and just uh, do my waterline with a black pencil, and then I'm going to go back into the Comfort Zone palette, pick up this really light green, and add it to the middle of the eye as like a highlight, and it really added something extra to this look, and I really, really, really like it. Time for lashes, and these are from the brand Kiss. And I'm applying them using tweezers because the method that I use, first of all, takes a long time, which is why I didn't film it. And second of all, tweezers are actually the best thing for me because I am such a noob at putting lashes on. Now I'm just going to put my mascara on. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And now for the rest of the face. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my Maybelline Baby Skin on. You guys know how much I love this primer. It's absolutely amazing. And it erases all my pores, which I have a thousand, so it's necessary. And then I'm going to go into my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the Matte and Poreless Formula. I love this foundation, and I love applying it using a flat foundation brush. This one, I think, was from like Walmart a couple of years ago, and I actually love it. I still have it, and I still use it religiously. I find that this method gives me the best coverage, so I always make sure to put it on with the foundation brush first. And then I buff it all out using my e.l.f. stipple brush. This is the large stipple brush. I absolutely adore this brush. It's only $3 on the e.l.f. website, so check it out if you're not already. Next, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Dual Ended Contour Stick. I'm using the highlighting side to highlight the under eyes just to make everything look brighter. I don't use the contour side yet because I'm kind of still learning how to use the contour side yet. It's a very pigmented contour. However, it's a very, very beautiful natural contour. Now I'm going to go in with my highlighter. This is ColourPop's Lunch Money Highlighter or Blush. They have it under the blushes. I don't know why. I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my upper part of my cheeks. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and use another highlighter to highlight my highlighter using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette in the shade Catwalk Pink just to amplify that highlighter even more, which I love the look of both. Next, I'm doing my brows using the Maybelline Brow Satin Define and Fill Brow Duos. I absolutely love these pencils. They work the best for me. And they make doing my brows that much more easier. So I don't think I'll use anything else because these are just, these are amazing. I like to do things backwards and do things differently than everyone else. So I'm putting my blush on first. I'm using a very light blush, nothing too dramatic. I really want all the drama to be focused on the eyes. And then I'm going to, for whatever reason, set my under eye using the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, the light shade first. And then I'm going to go ahead and contour because I do things backwards. So <laughs> don't mind my methods. Use whatever method you use for yourself. But then I'm going to go ahead and finish off the look using some products from ColourPop. I'm using the Lumiere Lippy Stick and the Teeny Tiny Ultra Matte Lippy from ColourPop. I absolutely love both of these. 
I was going to do just one using Lumiere, but it really was too pink for my liking for this look. So I decided to go ahead and just use the Ultra Matte and to deepen it up. This one's in the shade Teeny Tiny. It's a very, very deep nude, a very dark nude, and I really like the finished look. So that is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or any comments on anything, leave them down below. Any requests as well. I'm always open to new videos and ideas. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Like if you did, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.